chess is more than a game, it's strategy, it's intelligence, it's friendship. Welcome to my world, welcome to my channel. The game has just begun. Hi chess friends, today I'm here on Liches, I want to show you some uh, tactics. Tactics are so useful for uh, every level of player. If you are uh, a low level or average level, high level, tactics are so important. Every strong player does tactics every day and uh, this is a good uh, training is uh, one of the best way to train your your chess uh, level and uh, in this position we we, we can be begin with the first problem of leeches and uh, in this position we have uh, an equal material can you see and uh, here you can see that this bishop is hanging so i can take this bishop can you see and but i will lose my knight but what happens if you look well if i take here after this capture you can see you have i am not to capture the bishop otherwise i don't gain anything i have to use this diagonal Black, white queen and king are on the same diagonal so it's very dangerous so bishop here and now knight capture and this is winning for for uh, for black for this reason remember when you are in this position that uh, you have to play something like uh, this capture uh, after bishop capture knight capture and uh, after rook here remember to play something like king here this is a okay in this position maybe maybe it's not the um, the best move but usually when you long castle when you do a long castle it's common to, to play rook, uh, king c1 king b1 so remember it okay we can do another problem okay we have this position Okay, can you see? The G pawn is away. So there is no G pawn, and uh, this is a point of weakness for White King. So you, you have to use it. Can you see? This is a bad development of Bishop of Knight. Th two rook are unconnected, and if you play in this way, you don't develop your rook, uh, your your pieces. Uh, you 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 are so weak here on the king side you risk to to fall to lose for some nice tactics and here you have to play knight g3 because after f pawn capture because the h pawn is is pin there is a queen you can capture the rook and after this you can play something like rook f8 and this is so beautiful position for for black because uh, white pieces are not development so you have to learn to develop your pieces okay it's so important okay next problem we are in this position okay this time is not equal material because black has a bishop more but can you see the problem there is open h file this rook attacks the queen but i can play simply queen sorry sorry about that you can play simply queen here queen h7 because the king move and this bishop will be defended you have to do something of really beautiful rook h8 and after bishop capture the king can capture because would be king h for h8 would be checkmate queen for h7 you have to take with the bishop 
follow queen for h7 and after king move you can capture the bishop and the knight with check and um, at the next move you can capture with the rook this pawn is defended so after the king move you can simply capture with the rook in this way and uh... okay maybe you can capture with the rook because uh, the queen can come here so you have to continue to do some check you have to be careful because you have in this way you will lose okay so you can capture the rook but you can play something like queen here and you can continue with some check and this is completely winning for uh, for white okay so okay another problem you can see the position black has a bishop more but uh, the black queen is hanging you can capture the queen if you capture the queen follow rook b1 and this is checkmate because king here is in a bad position but uh, black king is in a bad position not only white so here you can do some night tricks are you able to see you would like to take this queen but you can because there is a rook on b file so you have to play this queen capture for d8 rook capture for d8 and only now you take the queen and now you are in completely winning position this bishop will fall really soon and black can do nothing because i if you play rook b8 i play simply rook capture for d7 and i i blow the check in this way and you can do nothing so okay okay another chess problem and you can see there is a, a big tension on, on this diagonal and uh, this knight can't be captured because if I capture this knight the rook falls so I could play something like this bishop capture after queen capture you play rook b8 in this way I attack this knight this knight is pin because if white here moves the knight the queen falls so can you see and it's so simple in this way you you can move the knight if you defend the knight it's not important because I capture with the pawn so I will have an advantage okay we have this position this bishop here is so strong because it shot uh, on this diagonal a lot of pieces white queen knight and uh, bishop so but this h5 pawn is so weak so you could try to do a check queen for h5 and after after the king move you have to think really well because seems that you can do nothing because uh, your knight is attacked two times if you move your knight the bishop fo falls your bishop is attacked by the queen so it's not easy position because if you defend the 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 knight with your rook your bishop falls so what can you do to save everything you have to play this move really strong rook e2 and black queen is trap because there is no square because f3 and uh, f5 are controlled by the knight f4 by the pawn so black queen has no square and black here has to to give up you have to play something like queen e2 and after queen 42 this knight is defended and it's completely winning for uh, for white so you can see every time the position of the opposite queen you have to uh, to try to trap the opposite queen for this reason in the opening is not uh, so good move uh, too early the queen 
because uh, in this way queen uh, won't be so useful and uh, it's a big risk because uh, the opponent can uh, trap your queen so keep in your mind it okay so after rook e2 this is completely winning for for white okay next problem okay we have this position where uh, white is completely down material because uh, r z uh, black has two rooks and white only one so but uh, there is uh, an important point the position of the black king white king is defended black king no you can capture the rook okay if you capture the rook follows queen h2 and after the king move queen f2 checkmate here you have to do some check you have two different check with the queen queen e8 queen e7 i show you queen e8 because it's the right move after the king move queen e8 is so strong because close c6 square okay rook c2 and this is checkmate you have to block with the queen you are obliged if you don't do that if you try something like this white here can play queen d8 and this is checkmate can you see no not sorry can this is checkmate be careful because if you do something like this you continue to do check th this king will be safe so here after this it's better to play queen c6 and after the king come here you play queen c7 check the king move and now you have to play queen d8 and after the king move you have to play queen d7 this is a really important move because this is way king can come here because if you come here there is a checkmate so i think this problem wasn't easy to see because yes you have to play check but if you place for example this queen e7 king can escape here and this is completely winning for black because king on d5 is completely safe you have no resource you can do some check but uh, it's not important because here there is a this king here is completely safe and it's not so easy to see this position can you see after this here you have to play well to do checkmate queen d7 are so important to to leave your rook here okay so remember in the end game it's so important not only material but the position of of opponent's king okay so Now we have this position and both queen are attack okay so here I could capture the the white queen and then attack the bishop so this is so nice I want to do rook capture for f2 okay he decided to move the bishop 
with the idea to when I move my king, white can capture my queen. But I can block this idea. And here you have not to block with the bishop something because she can play simply knight capture for for g6. The best move in this position is queen f7 to attack the white bishop and after the bishop capture I can play rook capture for f7 and this is completely winning okay so this was the last problem of uh, today um, do every day some tactics if you want to improve and uh, thank you very much for watching my video remember to subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it and uh, see you soon with another video. Thank you really much. Bye.